Hi, I'm Chris Frame, and thanks so much for joining me. This week we've seen another classic cruise ship sent to the breakers yard, with CMV's former cruise ship Magellan making her way to the beaches of India's Alang scrapyard. Cruising with the British-based CMV from 2015 until their end in 2020, Magellan was most recently sold to Sea Jets in late 2020 after the collapse of CMV. It had been hoped that she would sail again for her new owners, but this was not to be. Magellan's history actually dates back to the 1980s. She was built in Denmark as the holiday for Carnival Cruise Lines and was the first of the holiday class of cruise ships that was built for Carnival and eventually three were built in this class. At 46,052 tonnes, the ship is a baby by today's standards. But at the time, she was a significant new build for Carnival and introduced a suite of amenities that helped establish Carnival's fun ship onboard experience. In the 1980s, the modern cruise industry was still developing. Cruise lines were being established and many were reliant on older, smaller, converted ocean liners. Holiday was noticeably larger than the converted ocean liners in Carnival's fleet, and in fact she was 10,000 tonnes larger than Carnival's first new build, the Tropicale. Holiday's introduction into service in July of 1985 represented a significant upscaling of the Carnival fleet. The ship featured a two-storey main lounge with terrace seating, as well as a large buffet restaurant, two formal restaurants, a sports deck, multiple swimming pools, a pizzeria, a grill, as well as themed bars, lounges, and a large shopping promenade. Holiday was joined by two near-identical sister ships, the Jubilee of 1986 and the Celebration of 1987. And together with Tropicale, they allowed Carnival to retire their older cruise ships, which had all been converted ocean liners, including the Mardi Gras, the Carnival, and the Festival. Holiday and her sisters were popular ships, and the success of the Holiday class gave Carnival the confidence to commit to the even bigger Fantasy class of ships in the 1990s. Sadly, three of the Fantasy class ships are also being scrapped at the moment, but this time in Turkey, and you can find a video about that in the info card or the description below. Holiday remained with Carnival until 2009, by which time she had been well and truly eclipsed by Carnival's new giant cruise ships. The ship was transferred to Ibero Cruises and started cruising for that brand in 2010. Although both Tropicale and Jubilee had had their distinctive Carnival branded funnels removed and replaced when they were transferred out of the Carnival fleet, Holiday retained hers. The ship emerged as the refurbished and repainted Grand Holiday and started cruising in early 2010. She was sold again in 2015 becoming the Magellan for CMV. During the final months of her service life, the ship was treated to a refresh, which included applying a new navy paint scheme to the ship's hull. But sadly, the cruise pause of 2020 meant that Magellan's days were numbered. Sold at auction in late 2020, there had been hope that she may sail again for Greek-operated sea jets. However, by early 2021, it was becoming obvious that the ship's future was in doubt. Renamed Madges, she sailed for India's Alang scrapyard, arriving there in January 2021 and was beached by the end of the month. Coincidentally, the Magellan is being scrapped alongside her sister ship, the former Celebration, as well as the ship that was once Carnival's Tropicale, both of which were beached in recent weeks. Additionally, the former Jubilee was broken up at the same scrapyard in 2017. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you found the video interesting. If you did, don't forget to give it a like and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. It may seem a little bit alarming that so many cruise ships are being scrapped and of course it is quite unusual to see so many ships going to scrap all at the same time like we have in the last uh, six months or so. But scrapping cruise ships isn't a new thing, in fact scrapping passenger ships has been something that's happened for about as long as passenger ships have existed. If you're looking for something to do during lockdown, you might want to check out some of our books. The one I'll talk to you today about is the Photographic History of the Orient Line, uh, which Rochelle and I wrote in collaboration with Rob Henderson and Doug Kramer, who have the fantastic Henderson and Kramer collection. Orient Line was a famous line that operated between Great Britain and Australia. As passengers started traveling by air in the 1960s and 1970s, Many of the Orient Line ocean liners were sent to scrap. So we have seen large passenger ships scrapped en masse before, it just hasn't really happened in the last sort of 20 or 30 years or so. This book takes you on a bit of a journey through the history of the Orient Line, through both text and pictures showing the fantastic history of this brand and how it impacted on the Australian journey throughout all those years. Orient Line had some remarkable ships, including of course the very famous first Oriana, Oronce, Orcades, or Sova, many others that served the company. 
not only in peacetime, but also during two world wars. If you're interested in learning more about the Orient Line, I've linked to the book in the description below. Thanks once again for watching, and when it is safe for us to set sail again, I hope to see you on board.